Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to learn about how to convert NFA to DFA. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages, Hindi as well as in English. And if you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates on this channel. So, let's start. Till now we have learned what is DFA, what is NFA, how to design different DFAs and NFAs, what are their properties, what are their operations that we perform, all these things we have covered. Today we are going to learn about how to convert a NFA to DFA. In order to convert a NFA to a DFA, one thing that is required is a NFA. So we know that NFA is defined in this five table. Q, Sigma, Q0, F and Delta and we want to get a equivalent DFA which will accept the same language and we can say the DFA is Q dash, Sigma, Q0, F dash and Delta dash. The input symbol has to be same. Maybe the state changes, maybe the starting symbol changes, maybe the final state changes and similarly the transition may also change. But Ultimately, whatever language this NFA is accepting, the DFA is supposed to accept it. So that I can say, for the NFA, I am getting a specific DFA. Let us see the conversion method. It will take 2 to 3 minutes and after that directly we will go to the example. The first step is, the start state of NFA, let the machine be M, will be the starting state of the DFA. So, I'll add this starting symbol, let us say Q0 in NFA. I'll write it as Q0 des in DFA. So, the starting symbol must be the same. Secondly, for each state Q1, Q2, Qn in Q des, the transition for each input symbol sigma can be obtained. How that we are going to obtain this? The first state is, I need to define the delta dash, the transition for the DFA. If there is a state Q1, Q2, Qn and I want to see the transition on input symbol A, what I have to find? I have to take the transition on NFA, Q1 on A, then state Q2 on input symbol A, then state Qn on input symbol A, then I have to make the union so that I will get these states. I have to add whatever state I got to the DFA if it is not already added in the number of states. And we have to find the transition for every symbol sigma on the states Q1, Q2, Qn. Remember this, these states Q1, Q2, Qn are the states in the NFA. If we get the state which is not in Q dash, then add the state in Q dash. The fourth step is, if no new state generated, then stop and proceed after finding all transitions. So how to find the transition? This is the last step. For the state Q1, Q2 to Qm in Q dash of DFA, if one state Qy is in the final state of NFA, then Q1, Q2, Qm becomes the final state. The set of all final states belongs to F dash of the DFA. It means if, if I am getting a final state in the NFA and in square bracket what I got in that also that particular state is existing. I then I will say this square bracket which is there in DFA will be the final state also. While doing the example you will be able to understand. Let us take an example. We need to convert the NFA to DFA. For the NFA states given are A, B. Input symbol given are 0 and 1, the starting state is A and the final state is B. And the transition is defined according to this particular transition table. So we need to find a DFA M1 with some states with same input symbol. We have to define the transition, we have to define the starting state and we have to define the final state. 
So in the transition table of F0, the states available are A, B and AB. So in the NFA, these are the transitions that are available to me. As in NFA, A is the starting state. In DFA also, the starting state will be A. And for DFA, whatever states are there, I'll put them under square bracket. So we need to compute A, B and AB for all the input symbols. So let us try transition on state A on giving input symbol 0. So it is nothing but it is nothing but transition of A on 0. So A on 0 input symbol it is going to AB. So I can write delta dash on A with input symbol 0 is AB. I will write under the square bracket. Now A on 1 is nothing but delta of A on 1 and A on 1 it is going to be so I will write the transition is B here. Similarly B on 0 B on 0 that is 5 so whenever there will be a 5 appearing I will say this is a dead state. Again B on 1 B on 1 it is going to AB so I will write within square bracket AB then AB on 0 it is nothing but A on 0 union B on 0. So A on 0 already we have found that is AB and B on 0 already we have found that is 5. So AB union 5 is nothing but AB. And the next thing is AB on 1. So it is nothing but A on 1 union B on 1. A on 1 is B already we have seen and B on 1 is AB. That is also already we have seen. So we need to take the union of these two. So we will get B union AB that is nothing but AB. So we got for all the states the transition on every input symbol. So we need to write them on a table that is A on 0 is AB, A on 1 is B, B on 1 is 5, B on 1 is AB, then AB on 0 is AB and AB on 1 is AB. This is the important step that is the final state. If you remember the NFA, B used to be the final state. So in whatever square bracket B is appearing, those state will be the final state of the DA. This is what is written here. So in this case, B is appearing in this single B. At the same time, B is appearing in AB. So these two will be the final states. So if you want to draw its corresponding DFA, it will be like this. So you can see this is the dead state. It means from here we can never come back to the final state again. So we start with A, with input symbol 1 it is going to B, with input symbol 0 it is going to AB. On AB 1 or 0 it is going to AB. On state B if we give input symbol 0 it is going to dead state. And on B input symbol 1 it is going to AB. Here state B and AB are double circled to indicate that these are the final state. I hope you understood this problem. Let us do one more problem. Here the transition diagram and transition table is given. Here we need to find for each state we have to define each input symbol for the DFA. Here the states that are available are A, B and C. And apart from that, in the table we are having AB and BC. So at least for these, we need to find. If some new state appear, then for that also we need to find. Let us try to find the transition of state A on 0. It is nothing but delta of A on 0. And it is AB. So I will write square bracket AB. Now we have to find the transition of A on input symbol 1. So it is nothing but delta of A on 1. Delta of A on 1 is 5. So I will say that this is a dead state. So the new state that appeared here after this transition is AB. So on AB I have to take the input symbol 0. It is nothing but transition of A on 0 union transition of B on 0. So transition of A on 0 already we found that is AB. Now you can see transition of B on 0 is 5. So AB union 5 is nothing but AB. Now let us try to find 
the transition of AB on input symbol 1. So AB on 1 is nothing but transition of A on 1 union transition of B on 1. So A on 1 is 5 and B on 1 is BC. So delta dash of AB on 1 is BC. Here for A we did we got a new state AB for AB we started we got AB and BC AB already we have done and BC is the new state. So we have to start doing for BC. Transition of BC on 0. So we need to find transition of B on 0 union transition of C on 0. Transition of B on 0 is 5 and transition of C on 0 is 5. So transition of BC on 0 is 5. Already I have told that this indicates dead state. Now we have to find transition of BC on 1. So transition of BC on 1 is nothing but transition of B on 1 union transition of C on 1. So transition of B on 1 is BC and transition of C on 1 is 5. So union of these two becomes BC. Now there is no new state appear but in the original transition table state B and state C also appear. For these two states also so transition on B on 0 is nothing but 5 there is a dead state and transition of B on 1 is BC. Similarly, transition of C on 0 is 5, that is a dead state. And transition of C on 1 is 5, that is also dead state. So we have covered all the states that are appearing through these transitions. And if we we'll put all of them in a transition table, it will look like this. Now, in our original problem, C used to be the final state. So in this case, wherever C appears, that will be the final state. Here, only single C, C is there and B, C. In this also C is there. So these two will become our final state. So if you want to draw the transition diagram, it will look like this. But again you can see here, there are few states which are not reachable. That we can eliminate. For instance, here you can see state C is not reachable from the starting state. And state B is also not reachable from the starting state. So we can eliminate these two states. So this is our required DFA for the problem. I hope you understood how to convert NFA to DFA. And if you understood, give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video, we are going to take few more problems on how to convert NFA to DFA. See you then. Take care. Bye.